welcome everybody to the Dave Blaney season mode Food City 500 Bristol Tennessee the day race over a hundred laps we had our best qualifying effort we're not in the 20s we qualified P17 And we ran a 14 108. Like, that's not bad for Dave Blaney. And this 22. And I can't recall if Car Tomorrow was like short tracks. I, I'm guessing so. Kind of Kyle Busch there was really. I'm a little scared that the engine's gonna blow. Oh my goodness, Kyle. Oh wow. I think Kurt Busch already blew his engine. Slow on the track, Kurt Busch. Already had a problem at the drop of the green flag. That's a heavy knockout. Bush is limping his car around. Still not on pit road. But yeah, I, I'm like so scared that we're gonna blow the engine in this damn car because we're constantly in the red and I did my best to fix that. I'm not the smartest when it comes to it, but yeah. Car seems tight. I've, I've fiddled with the gears. I found a gear ratio I like. I don't like that it's still in the red. Kenseth is the leader, he's getting pressures, we're pressuring Truex, whoa, ran it deep in. Greg Biffle to the lead, won't be the first time I said his name at first old. Trying to take Martin with him, Martin's trying to move back to that P2 spot. How about David Ruman, David Gillen, Mike Wallace. Kenseth got put on the outside lane. Martin wants the lead back. With everyone battling, everyone, the 22 continues to make his way forward. But I think that's just crazy. Like, I, I said that I was scared for the engine. And, like, right away, the two just dropped to the apron and he's already out of the race. Like, not even more than two laps in. We're gonna get into the top five. What a move by the 22. He's got some fast cars up here. Not ran in the 13s from practice to qualifying. So if we do that at all in the race, that's gonna be real shocking. I think we got a better long run car. I won't lie. So if we can keep it clean, I think I'm set the car to be good on the longer run. Especially faster on the longer run. So we're seeing this Gillen pressures Martin right now. Blaney's getting a big run on the 38. Those tires. Golan looking to the lead on the 01. Trying to bring the 22 with the 22. Takes a peek to the inside. Almost got contact with Martin. We had contact with him last week. Blaney all over the back of the 38. Another big run. How aggressive will Golan be? 
Laney wants to be aggressive. Blaney to the lead. Dave Blaney at the 22. Out front. Early at Bristol. Golan gets a good run. Blaney trying to get the outside to work. Golan gets another good run. Size was not really a thing in the past. But the 38 goes back to the front. And the 22 gets another run. Still there. 22 back to the point. I'm just so worried about the engine though. Such a fast car. Slow be on the tight side. Maybe we can fix that with a pit stop. But with how it's handling, if it handles longer, better on a longer run when the tires start to go away, I don't think I really want to do anything. I think we just got to avoid cautions at best, which is easier said than done. Well, if you're a Kurt Busch fan, I'm sorry. Like, that was really unexpected. I'm not sure how I'm going to turn on the video now. DNF in the first two laps? That may make it sound like we DNF. Shocking DNF at the green. We head to Martinsville next week for the Cup Series, so there's that. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to load this up and be in the car tomorrow. It kind of surprised me when I went to practice because I thought we were going to be in the old cup car. And uh, I got to practice and I saw the car tomorrow. I was like, uh oh, did a setting change? I can't quit or I can I'm acting up. I don't want to risk shutting the system down and getting the ENF that way, but I guess I got to roll with it. We've not really caught that traffic yet. David Rudeman back to P3, putting the pressure on David Gillen. To be honest, in the Bush series, it didn't start to uh, green flag pit stops that we were able to catch the uh, flat traffic. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one stop or a two stop race. It could be a two stop race. It'll be the first, I believe, on the year. I don't think we've been to a uh, road course in the Cup. Junior is struggling to begin the year. Wow. He is just struggling in that A car. Feels like every single race he's been really in the back. A 
think if we get the lap 60 plus at the one stop race, maybe. I'm not good at math. 38 is not going away. They've been able to shrink the gap. 22 could be holding up some cars. But it's definitely a single pack getaway as I want to say maybe everyone outside maybe 10th, 9th right now is in line and Gilliland is putting a lot of pressure on the 22 and the double zero is putting a lot of pressure on him. Jeff Gordon's even in the back at first so wow. Gillen looks to the inside. Blaney may have to uh, okay, well see the, con the position here, and he does. The 38 to the point. So he's worried about the 22 getting below him as well. I think it was smart to try to move over and let that run die off. before they just tried to wreck us. That's what they kind of do at Martinsville, sadly. 22 has been able to get better runs on the 38 again. 38 wanted the lead, but he was not able to do anything with it. And the 22 goes back to the point. Smacks the wall on exit. So Dave Blaney, real good car here at Bristol. Can he just keep it out of danger? Keep the engine safe. And then move on. As Blaney's been able to get a gap again. Where the field is starting to come into view for the 22. Twenty two starting to get loose off the corner. Blaney wants to make the second half of the race hard for anyone to get the 10 bonus points. He already has a DNF on the year. That Las Vegas. Green flag pit stop should be starting soon. And we should know if it's going to be a one stop or a two stop race. No cautions yet to fly, but sure uh, there's going to be some competition or some dumb moves getting made being aggressive in our pit road by the computer. Maybe, maybe by Blaney. He doesn't really want to lose this track position. His fastest on the day right now is a 14.3, which is the slowest on the weekend. And I doubt that's even going to be like top 10 in time. Not a good corner there for Blaney. Blaney 
starting to slip and slide again, entering the corner, getting into the wall, exiting the corner. Drex maybe up here? No, that's still Rudiman. Rudiman gets to the inside of Gill and he gets to the inside of Blaney. Here comes the double zero of David Rudiman. Gillen was able to get to the bottom before the 22 could. 22 could not force his way in front of the 38. Blaney could be dropping a third before green flag pit stop. Stuck on the outside lane. Here comes Greg Biffle. From first to fourth, contact with the 16. Not what Blaney wanted. He was wanting to cross the 16 over. Blaney up the third. Oh, Gillen got run. 22 got run on the 38. 22 bags off. After contact. Everyone's going as long as they can. That's not a good sign for us. I believe it's just going to be like earned the strides. Front stretch. Pit road. Right now the 22 is settling in a third. Looks like and sounds like the leaders want to pit together. Rudiman dives down. Gillen, if he had to pay on the back stretch, he's going to have to go an extra lap. Turex with an aggressive pit road injury. That may help him off a of pay exit. Yeah, we're one of the slowest cars on the track. Jeff Green with a 13.85 right now, the fastest car on track. It's gonna be a race off a of pit road. Should be the only pit stop of the day. And it does not look like we had a good pit stop at all. Dave Blaney right now is cycling out six. Gilliland was able to stay the leader off of pit road. Now with lap traffic being a thing, it's going to be hard for the 22 to get there to, to the front. Blaney being overzealous a little bit, got to take care of the tires, still a long way to go. Plenty of time for that caution. But he knows what just happened. He was sitting pretty. He, he liked that track position. Rudiman was able to make his way back to the point. Oh, Kenseth! What was that? Kenseth just about wrecked the 22. 22 gives him a bump back at the track. Not giving Kenseth an option. A pull on that type of move. That was... Real aggressive racing for P5. Hamlin does not race the 22 as hard. Turex right now would more likely be P3 as he's looking for the inside run at Ken Schrader. We know Wood is not our friendliest of allies. Schrader dives it hard, trying to get back around. 
Can I help? Try to use direct a little bit. Can the work? How about Turex though? Showing it off. 22 makes his way back up to P3. Right where he was before Pit Road. Gonna have to be aggressive with the 21. That's not gonna make one any more happier. Cannot just afford to sit back. Wood cuts him a little bit of slack, knowing Wood is a lap down. Gillen! Loses P2. Right now, it's David Rudum in it. Out front here at Bristol. Tony Reigns racing the 22 hard as a lap down car. And the best lap for Blaney came sometime during this run. It's a 14 1 3 5 or 6. Not sure what that last number is. But does the 22 have anything for that double zero? Right now, Rudiman struggling with lap traffic. Still a long ways to go. Blaney needs to stop over pushing this car. Has to make that young driver ahead of him make that mistake. Make that young driver work this last traffic. Try to stay with him as best as you can if you don't have the better car. Yaley's kind of blocking the 22 down the back stretch. That really hurt Blaney's injury in the three and four. The car stayed pretty tight. We probably could have made a little bit of adjustment, but we still did not have that good of a pit road. Yaley pulls a Kenzip. Trying to right on the front stretch. Big run by the 22. To the inside for the lead. Blaney back out front. And Rudiman also had to deal with Yaley. So far, the engine sounds okay. He's got to be able to save these tires for the longer run. Jimmy Johnson not having a good day. Push so far the only car still out of the race. Just trying to settle in, find his rhythm. It seems like right here is the best part of the day. The middle run for the 22. 
so he may not be that good on the longer run. It's no big deal. I think he's got a solid long run car, but I think right here, right now, is where the 22 is better at. It's definitely not the best handling car. I would say it's a little too much on the tight side. If we were putting under caution, we probably could have made that adjustment. But it's so hard to want to pay under green and make that adjustment. I wouldn't say it's too tight though. I know we'd kind of be a little afraid to make that adjustment. Blaney will get the 10 bonus points for leading the most laps. But lap traffic is not going to make it easy. Mike Wallace was having a solid day before the green flag pit stops. He's got his work cut out for him. Sorensen is not wanting to make this pass easy. He's driving it hard into the corner. Going to get to the inside of his teammate is Blaney. Pablo Montoya drove it hard off into the corner as took Blaney's preferred line. Blaney in heavy lap traffic and one makes contact with the leader. More contact. And Blaney's letting Montoya know. Blaney is letting Montoya know. What was that? I'm the leader. Get out of the way, please. And unfortunately, Gordon was caught up in Montoya's mistake as well. Montoya just pretty much lifted off the corner, left no choice for him, for Blaney or Gordon to get away. And that's really the first heavy contact as Blaney goes right to the wall. Junior again, green flag pit stops, help him get to some positions. And somebody who's not having a good day is Jeff Gordon. He has to be frustrated with what just transpired with the 42 and the 22. Turex up the P2. Is Turex going to be the one that mounts the late rally? That type of contact was the last thing Dave Blaney wanted to happen. It happened so fast, I didn't even know what happened. Blaney's lucky he came out with just that much damage. That really could have damaged his water cooler and ended his day. Blaney into the wall on the exit. That contact definitely hurt the handling of the car as the tire wear starts to go away. And you gotta imagine if Blaney loses this race, he's gonna go punch Montoya right in the damn head.
no excuse for that type of racing by the 42. But no one should be shot by what Juan did. He was never a top racer in NASCAR. And yet idiots still think he's going to make a comeback one day. I was having contact with the 22 more than maybe what was let on it. Not many cars are going to go a lap down in this race unless the 22 can catch them. We had 27 lead lag cars in the Bush series. Right now, 34 are on the lead lap. And you gotta imagine! Is the 22 full of fuel? Last thing you want to lose a race to is running out of gas or because your team did not get a full fuel. Vickers and Johnson battling hard for a position. That's a lot of contact. That's going to bring the 22 up closer to them. They continue to battle. They said they lose. They're running out of time for a late race caution. Johnson just trying to hang on to that position and to stay ahead of Vickers. They're both trying to stay ahead of the leader. Bellini's pushing hard. Junior had a problem. He was just in the top 30 and he may have gotten contact and forced out. Blaney's been able to separate himself again. Blaney's going to get a big run here. How aggressive will Vickers be? Vickers and Johnson both drove the offense three and four. Two to go. Will Blaney let them have at it? Or will he back off? Blaney may take one last gasp here at Vickers and at Johnson. Almost contact. There is contact. Vickers does not want to lose that. His lead lap position on the final lap. Blaney wants to add one more car. And he's going to. Maybe he'll get two. Can he get Jimmy? No, he won't. But Blaney will win Bristol. As well, Truex, Hamlin, Rudeman, your top four. David Rudeman, what a run for him. He can't be disappointed. Good run for Ken, uh, Truex and Hamlin. They've had their uh, ups and downs, I believe, this year as well. All right, still early in the year, but this win and the back-to-back -back 10 bonus points from Atlanta and Bristol, that's gonna help A. Blaney get closer back to the top of the leaderboard. 80 laps led for Blaney, 21 for Rudiment, 10 for Gillen, 4 for Kenseth, who finished in your top five. Biffle led two, Martin led eight, so more leaders than we had in the Bush series, but my oh my, what a race. And Kurt Busch's day was done in the first three laps, was, which is very heartbreaking for him and his team. He probably would have had a fast car here. 
find another win for Dave Blaney in the 22 car. And another big win. As we're heading to Martinsville next week. It's uh, Martinsville, Richmond. State's up next. Martinsville, Texas, Phoenix, Talladega, Richmond. But the point standings, Blaney is back at top of the leaderboard. Mikey down to P2. He's my, behind us by 20. What a season he's having. David Ruderman has a big run. He's top tied uh, with Vickers in the top five. Right now, Jimmy Johnson 10th, Gordon 11th. But he keeps growing down here. Dale Jr. 33rd in points as the season continues. But up next, race six at Martinsville. I'll see y'all then.